Hello there and welcome back to my channel Mission Critical. Have you ever designed your own antenna? Do you want to design and test your antenna or would you like to see the predation pattern of your antenna? Sounds exciting, right? So in today's video we will learn and perform an experiment from the subject antenna and radio wave propagation which will help you finding the radiation pattern of any given antenna. So let's get started. So to perform this experiment we will need transmitting antenna mast, receiving antenna mast, two B and C cables, a antenna trainer kit, transmitting and receiving antennas, a screwdriver and a measuring tape. Now let's get an overview of this experiment before we start it. In this experiment, we will send a test signal using the antenna trainer kit which will be received and indicated in forms of decibel milliwatts or dBm which basically shows how powerful is the received signal on the receiver side. Here we are going to use a variable length antenna but we do have a fixed frequency at which we will perform this experiment. So the fixed frequency is 600 MHz. So we can find the wavelength of this frequency by the given formula and divide it by 2 and we can have a length of antenna which is 25 centimeters. So first let's stretch our antenna to match the obtained length in calculation which is 25 centimeters. So I'll stretch the antenna till it matches 25 centimeters on the scale and then we'll proceed to the experiment by opening the transmitter antenna barn and placing it evenly and as flat as possible on the workbench. Next. Screw the antenna connector head to the transmitter barn. Then we will attach the transmitting antenna on the barn via connector using a screw. Now here one has to understand and note that the antenna can be oriented in both horizontal and vertical arrangements. But for our convenience and educational use, let's stick to horizontal arrangement. Now in the similar manner. Let's assemble the receiver barn. But here, make sure you don't screw the connector too tight else the azimuth scale would be locked. Just ensure that we have enough free play on the scale. Next, set the zero scale with our pointer and we are good to go. Now connect one end of the B and C cable to the antenna and another end to the antenna trainer kit. Make sure you connect the transmitter antenna to transmitter section and receiver antenna to receiver section of the trainer kit. For making things easier in this experiment, let's keep the transmitter and receiver at a fixed distance of 1 meter from each other. With that being done, let's begin the experiment. We will first calibrate our receiver barn at 0 degree and we will note down the readings on the transmitter kit which is in dBm. We will now vary the angle in intervals of 5 degree and complete the 360 degree rotation and note down each and every reading for every angle. Once we have noted down all the readings, we have to plot these readings on a radial graph and the diagram that we see is the radiation pattern of our antenna. Sounds easy, right? To ensure best results, Make sure there is no object or even person in between two antennas. Just observe the readings from a distance. Do not rush and let the signal settle down once the angle is adjusted. It will avoid unnecessary errors. If you followed up this tutorial perfectly, you should get near to ideal radiation pattern. So that's it for today's experiment. I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to subscribe to Mission Critical to stay updated with similar kind of videos.